Hey everyone, Darren Belanco here, founder of OnlineThinking.net. In this WooCommerce tutorial today, you are going to learn how to set up your abandoned cart emails in WooCommerce. Let's get started. The tool that we're going to be using for the abandoned cart email in WooCommerce is a free email marketing software called MailerLite. The reason I like to use MailerLite is because first of all their software is 100% free and also because they allow you to integrate directly into your e-commerce store. If we just head over to their website, you can see that they allow you to integrate directly into your Shopify and WooCommerce store. It'll also import all of your products that are on your e-commerce store into the email marketing platform so you can connect those products within your email newsletters that you send out. They also have an email automation sequence where you can trigger certain emails based on purchases, based on abandoned carts, and a bunch of other things that we are going to have a look at. As you can see, you've got the abandoned cart email, which we are going to have a look at now as well. And they have a really nice looking email newsletter builder where you can drag in product blocks, which will have your products, prices, and descriptions directly from your website. So let's go have a look at this and how we set this all up on our WooCommerce store and our WordPress website. What you're going to need is the WooCommerce and MailerLite plugin. This is a plugin that you will install on your WordPress website, and this will allow you to connect your WooCommerce store to your free MailerLite account. You are going to need a MailerLite account to have this all set up and integrated, so you can hit the link down in the description below and go grab a free MailerLite account. And once you get set up there, you can then go and install their plugin on your WordPress website. We are now in our WordPress dashboard. And what you want to go and do is head over to the plugins tab. And once your plugin library comes up, you will go and search for the WooCommerce and MailerLite plugin. You should find this plugin come up in the WordPress plugin library. You can go and install that on your website and then go ahead and activate the plugin. Once you've activated the plugin, where you're going to find the settings for this plugin is under your WooCommerce menu. You'll hover there and then head over through to the settings tab. Once we are in the settings for your WooCommerce store, you're going to want to set up an API key first, and then you will use the details from that API key for the settings in the plugin. So where you're gonna head over first is into the advanced tab. And in the advanced tab, you'll see a bunch of links over here at the top. One of them being the REST API. You'll click the REST API link. That will then take you to a screen that looks like this. Over here, you're gonna hit the button that says create an API key. Okay, over here it's going to ask for your key details, a description, the user, and the permissions for the key. So under the description, what I would recommend you do is name this what the integration is going to be. So this one's going to be MailerLite email software. This is the user account that you're going to be logged in with. And under permissions here, you're going to want to just change this to read and write. So that is going to give the integration the permission to read the data on your site as well as edit it and change it you'll hit the Generate API Key button, and you'll see that this QR code has come up here, and a consumer key, as well as a consumer secret. These are very important. What you're gonna maybe want to do is take these and save them in a notepad somewhere and write them down, and just make a note that these are these particular keys for this particular integration, because this is the only time that you're going to be able to get access to these full keys over here. What we are then going to do is, you can open up a, another tab here for integration, so you don't have to leave this window. And that will then bring up the integration screen. You will see here, there's a tab now for the MailerLite plugin. This is the extension that we just installed a few steps earlier. If you go and click that, you'll see we are brought to another screen here where it's asking us to connect WooCommerce with MailerLite. Over here, we are being asked for the MailerLite API key. At this point, we are going to want to head over to your MailerLite account. If you haven't created a MailerLite account, you're going to want to do that. There is a link below in the description. We have now come over to our MailerLite account now. 
we are in the dashboard of this account and we want to now connect this to our WooCommerce store. So what you're going to want to do is just click this menu in the top right corner here and then head over to the integrations option. The integrations page will load and you'll see you've got a bunch of options here to integrate with either Shopify, WooCommerce and a bunch of other features over here. Right now we are going to use the WooCommerce integration so we'll hit the use button and on this page it gives us some information of what we need to do. So we've already downloaded and installed the WooCommerce plugin. We've activated and installed the MailerLite integration and now we are on step three where we are going to grab our API key and paste this into our MailerLite integration settings. We want to make sure that this setting is on here, the e-commerce integration, because this is going to allow MailerLite to track all of your products, your sales and all the data that happen on your WooCommerce store. So that you're going to want to keep on. And down here, you're going to just copy this API key. Once you've copied this API key, you're going to head back to your WordPress and WooCommerce store here, where we were under the integration section and the MailerLite integration. Over here, you are going to paste your API key and hit the validate key button. We'll reload the page. And once the page is reloaded, you'll see that we are given a bunch of new options here, as well as options directly from MailerLite. What we want to do first though, is you will see there's the option for the consumer key and the consumer secret. These are those numbers that we got from the step before. So if we just go to that tab from before, we'll see our consumer key and our consumer secret. So we'll copy the consumer key, paste that into that box there, and we will then go back and copy the consumer secret and paste that into the box there. Once that's completed, we can then go down to the integration details. Over here, you'll see the group option. In this drop down list, you will see the list or the groups of subscribers that you have already created within your MailerLite account. So for the purpose of this demonstration, we are going to select this list over here. And you can choose what options are going to suit you best here. We are going to want to resubscribe inactive subscribers because if they are buying something from the checkout page again, or they are activating our abandoned cart sequence, we are going to need to have them resubscribed in order to be able to send them mails. We also want to enable subscription via the checkout page, and we can keep that after the billing details. What this does is it puts a little checkout box on the checkout page after the billing details, where the user can simply select to subscribe to your MailerLite list. You can have the option to pre-select that checkbox, and there's the option to hide the checkbox on the checkout page. I would recommend that because you are not really serving any purpose if the user is going to unsubscribe from your mailing list on the checkout page. Now, of course, the goal is not to bombard all of your customers with emails and sales, but it is good to have them subscribe to your list so you are able to follow up with them with other promotions and anything that you might want to let them know in future. Over here, there's some few other settings here. We can also enable the MailerLite pop-ups from here. We're not going to do that now. And here we can also deactivate some of the automations. But for right now, this is all the options you are going to need to select. You can then hit Save Changes. Once you have hit Save Changes, you'll see your settings have been changed. Your API key will disappear here. You'll still see the consumer and secret there, but you'll see now everything has been set up. Now that is the integration of your WooCommerce into your MailerLite account. That's all you need to do. Everything should be set up correctly. Now that we've integrated MailerLite into our WooCommerce store, in order to send the abandoned cart emails and have that activated when users don't complete a checkout on your store, we are going to have to head over to MailerLite and have that set up over there on the MailerLite software. Now we've come over to MailerLite again. In order to double check that your WooCommerce store has been integrated into your MailerLite account, where you're going to want to go is just to the right hand menu here for your account and then go to the account settings tab. 
And you'll see now in the account settings tab that there's an additional menu option that might not have been there before, and that is your e-commerce integration. And you'll see once you hit that over there, it'll say the site has been connected since, your subscriber group, where they're being added to, and we'll see the settings that we have over there. We can then also go and manage that connection from there, and we can go and resync all of the data. What the resync means is if we already have purchases on our store and we have a bunch of users on our WooCommerce store, we can then hit this resync button and it will then sync all of those contacts from your website onto your MailerLite account. So the next thing we want to do now is we want to actually go and create an abandoned cart email series inside MailerLite. So where you want to go is you're going to just hit the automation menu option up top here. And you're then going to hit the big orange create workflow button. And over here, we can just give this workflow a name. We'll say abandoned cart series. And then here, the option that you want to select is You'll see under this menu here, there's a bunch of normal triggers. So when subscribers join groups, when they update fields, and then under the e-commerce automation option, we'll have a bunch more triggers here. So you'll see here there's, if a user purchases any product, if a user purchases a specific product, we can send them an email following up. And if they purchase a product from any category, we can also follow up with them. But the option we are going to be using here is the abandoned checkout option now gives us an option to how many hours or how many days, weeks, or months do we want this to be fired after. And I would recommend just putting one hour there. That's going to be the best time. And then you want to select the repeat workflow for subscribers only once. Once that's been set up, you can hit save. You'll see that our action's been saved over there. The next step that we want is we want to send an email to these people. Over here, you can click the email and you'll have a dialogue over here. We can then start typing the content of our email right from with inside our automation over here. And this is something that I really like about MailerLite because a lot of these automation softwares that you have available out there, once you're inside your workflow and you are creating this flow of when everything goes out, you aren't able to edit the emails from inside here. You have to leave the workflow, find the individual email that you've created, and you have to go and edit it there. This is very nice, and it actually streamlines the process quite a lot. So in the subject line here, we can just say, you left something, left something behind. Who is it from? You can put your store email there. Of course, we want to use Google Analytics. And then right from here, we can go and design the email content. And now this is where it gets quite exciting because MailerLite provides quite a lot of free templates and inside their email builder, they have a lot of nice modules that can be brought into the individual emails. So for example, let's just have a look at their template library over here. You can see they have a bunch of emails here and this is actually quite a nice one. We can go and preview this. If this is something you like, you can then go and have that added to your email creator. But for now, we are going to just use one of these more simple templates here that our client has already used inside the MailerLite account. And you can just go and select one of those mails there. And you'll see the email creator just loads here. It just needs a moment here. And once this is loaded, you'll see that this is a really nice, easy to use drag and drop email builder that will allow you to drag product blocks and style it and really get it to looking exactly how you want it to. Now the email builder has loaded and you will see here we've got a bunch of options. I'm just going to delete these because I'd like to show you what you can do here. And we'll see here there's an option for the types of blocks that you can use on the left hand side. So we've got the standard e-commerce blocks which are just the products going directly to your sales pages. And then if you use the e-commerce integration option, you will see down at the bottom here, there is your abandoned cart product block. What you're going to want to do is grab this block over here. And this block is a super cool block because what this block will do is when you've dragged it into your email here, you'll see that nothing gets loaded here. And the reason for that is because this block will pre-populate with 
the products that the user has added to their cart. So you don't have to worry about the products displaying here. What you will go and select is how you want these products to display and the number of products that you want displayed in your email. You can also choose to have the description and you can also have the button saying something custom here. So you can say, grab, grab your 10% discount. And then inside this email, we can then go and give them a 10%. We can say, your 10% dis discount code. And then you can give them a discount code in the email here. And that is how you're gonna use your abandoned cart email block with inside your email here to set this up. And you can go and play around with all these settings here and change the type of block that you want if you want it to be more of a list look or more of a grid look. And you can get this looking exactly how you want. After you've finished this design of your email, you can then go and hit the done editing button and you'll see MailerLite will then load you back into the workflow where you wanted to add this email initially. So you'll see we've gone now back to the abandoned cart workflow and we've got our email in there with the you left something behind. Now what you can go and do after this is you can go and add either a, a delay, you can say we'll wait one day and then you want to send a, another email to the person, maybe following them up um, with something else. What can we help you with? And just like before, you can then go and design that email right from with inside this workflow and that will then become a part of your abandoned cart series. We're not going to do that right now, so we can then just keep it like this. Then we can go and turn our abandoned cart series on. Once we've turned our abandoned cart series on, we can then go back to the automation list. And there you have it. Our abandoned cart series is active. You'll see how many emails have been sent, opened, and clicked. What you can also do is once this has started sending emails, you can hit the overview button and this will then break down exactly how many subscribers have come through here. You'll be able to see all the stats here, as well as the e-commerce stats. This is where it gets really interesting because you'll be able to see exactly how many orders you won back from your abandoned cart sequence, as well as the revenue, as well as the conversion rate. So this is something you definitely want to look at for all of your e-commerce stores, because if you don't, you're definitely leaving money on the table. That's it for today everyone. Once again, if you got value from today's video, please like it and leave a comment below. I really hope this helps you and I look forward to seeing you next week.